girl, are you ready? The real Andy of Beverly Hills is here to spill all the tea. So let's talk about this mess. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day, girl. It is time to talk about the Real Housewife of New Jersey and some comments, some comments, I'm sorry, that Mr. Andy Cohen uh, just gave, like a little statements here and there, right? Uh, but before we talk about it, today we are promoting, um, which one should I take right now? Let's take this one. Okay, so these are bar soaps, okay? And they're coming from this amazing company called 99 Bar Soaps, okay? This one are, oh, this smells so good. This is a rainbow bar, so amazing. And this is very special because this is coming from one of you guys, okay? One of the Beverly Troopers, her name is Natalie, and she does all these bar soaps by herself. They are hand made and cut with love okay so go and support her the link is going to be in the description below 99barsoaps.com and get as many subs as you can all right so um let's talk a little bit about new jersey because you know right now the show is finally over and this has been a lot of talk about like what is going to be the future of the show what is happening you know that the show it's on pause, you know, um, and it's apparently it's going to be picking up like during the winter, you know, so it's definitely going to, you know, it's going to change schedule. It's going to it's going to be different. You know, it's definitely going to give another vibe. And a lot of people were, you know, still wondering who is going to be back, who is not going to go back. Uh, are Teresa and Melissa going to be back? Uh, what is going on? There is a lot of rumors that Bravo wants to take Teresa out for some reason. Uh, they have been using celebrities to like push her out, you know, on Watch What Happens Live. Like literally the last like four or five episodes, there has been only, you know, celebrities being like anti-Teresa. And, uh, you know, fans are definitely feeling certain kind of way, you know, thinking like, what does this mean? Because let's keep it real, Melissa will not be able to carry this show. You know, like, that's just not going to happen, nor will Margaret do it. So at this point, I, I, I keep saying, the only way that they could move forward is if they fire Teresa, they fire Melissa, and they fire Margaret, okay? And they gave us uh, Jennifer Aiding. Rachel Fuda, Danielle Cabral, they made Jennifer Fessler a full-time um, uh, housewife, and they bring us two more new, two yeah, two more new housewives. You know, I think that will be the only way to survive. You know, of course, in my perfect world, they will fire Melissa and Margaret, and Teresa will come on top. But at the at the end of the day, this is Bravo. You you never know what is going to happen. So. Um, you know, a lot of people are also saying is <sighs> this like last season was so toxic. What, how can we move on from that? Teresa is not forgiving Melissa. You know, they don't want to film together. Uh, people are really hating each other. You know, like how is this going to work out? And there has been a lot of rumors saying that, you know, uh, New Jersey is going to get rebooted, you know, the same way that New York did it. And it's going to be. The trending, you know, and rebooting, you know, this all, all of these shows. Well, Andy Cohen, they came forward giving some information about all of this. So I'm going to read you this. This is coming from Real Housewife of New Jersey Obsessed. And they say, cool Real Housewives of New Jersey return with both Joe Gorga and Teresa Judice. Sure, Real Housewife of New Jersey executive producer Andy Cohen muse with showbiz cheat sheet. I think there's a world where anything could happen. Despite being coy about who could come back, Andy, <coughs> Andy Cohen said, Real Housewife of New Jersey is not quite ready for a reboot like New York. He said, 
I don't think we are at that place yet. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need to. I think you could keep them both on and you could take one or the other off or you could take them both off and the show will still be great. So cute, Andy, but no, I'm sorry, no. Like you take Teresa out and you leave Melissa and Margaret in there, that show is gonna be sinking faster than girl, you know? Um, but Andy Cohen did admit he lost his temper during the reunion saying New Jersey was, it was so intense. It was so exhausting. I lost my cool. Real House of New Jersey is actually not on pause, Andy Cohen insists. All it is, is we are taking a second between seasons. He insisted, adding that the third part of the New Jersey reunion explained why production and the cast are taking a bit before filming the new season. That was a bloodbath. Let's take a minute and let everyone catch their breath, their breath before we send cameras in. And that's me saying something. Typically, you will send cameras in the next day, but it was too hot. We needed a minute. <sighs> to me, is that they are still trying to figure out how they're gonna like handle this whole situation between Teresa and Melissa, okay? they have to acknowledge that, you know, the show is not going to be the same. And I'm sorry, but we saw it with every single franchise, okay? Bethany Franco left, New York went down. Nini Leaks left, Atlanta went down. Vicky and Tamara left, OC went down. Lisa Vanderpump left, Beverly Hills went down, you know? So literally the only housewife who is managing to keep the power on one franchise right now is Teresa Judas, you know, with New Jersey. So I think they're pissing their pants right now thinking if we fire Teresa, the show is going to go down and it will definitely go down because I don't know. I mean, I think they will lost. More, it's not like the other ladies cannot fight. It's not that the other ladies cannot bring the drama because it's New Jersey, you know? But Teresa has such a big following. The advertisers love Teresa so much that the hit that will take New Jersey by Teresa leaving, it will be like huge. I, I mean, I think it's such a big risk. So they're, they're definitely trying to figure out how they're going to happen. And they probably don't want to fire Melissa because Melissa, you know, it's so easy to control her. I mean, she's a little minion, like running around, you know, so like she does whatever it, it needs to be done. Maybe the problem is Margaret. Maybe if they fire Margaret, there will be a way for Melissa and Teresa to get back together. I don't know. So anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Real Houses of New Jersey or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, I have my weekly podcast. So let's talk about this mess with the real Andy of Barry Hills, dropping episodes every Monday on Patreon. And if you want to get on a personalized message from me, now you can book me through Cameo. The link to everything are on the description below. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift 
for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. <laughs>